guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we want to talk about capture, recapture, sampling. And you're probably wondering what that means. And basically it is used when we want to estimate how many animals there are in a particular area. So let's say we have a forest. Okay, um, I know really bad drawing. These are supposed to represent trees. They look like people, but they're actually trees. Um, let's draw something that looks like that. Just trees. And in the trees, we in the forest, we want to estimate how many rabbits there are. How many rabbits there are. Okay, in the in the trees. We want to estimate how many of these there are in the trees. So what happens is you would go into the forest and so somebody would go into the forest, all right, they would go into the forest and they would capture some of these rabbits. So they capture, um, let's say we want to capture um, let's say three rabbits actually three is probably too little let's say that some people go into the forest right some people run into the forest and they capture 30 of these animals they capture 30 of these animals so it's probably gonna take them the whole day and what they do is they tag each animal so tagging just means I don't know putting some uh, draw or something on their body um, something that doesn't not doesn't harm them okay we don't want to harm any animals so we draw something on them to tag them okay and then we release them back into the forest so there are now 30 of these rabbits that are now tagged and we release them back into the forest so let's write that down Okay, so we tagged 30 rabbits. And then what happens is, two days later, two days later, the same forest, the same forest, what happens is, we now catch some more rabbits. So we catch, sorry about this really bad drawing for rabbits. We now catch from the forest, let's say a different number of rabbits so you don't get confused. Let's say we now catch 40 rabbits. And after we caught these rabbits, we examined them very closely and we found that um, five of them, five of them had tags. Okay, so what is the percentage of the animals that you have captured that have tags? So then we write those things down. Okay, so we Initially, we tagged 30 rabbits. Okay, so and then we go upon recapture out of 40 rabbits, out of 40 rabbits, five were tagged. Okay, so now let's put them inside a little formula um, that utilizes equivalent fractions. So it goes something like this. Number of tagged rabbits divided by total rabbits. And then we have two fractions, okay? We have this fraction for the sample, which is 
the 5 out of 40, this is called the sample because we caught them from inside the forest. And this fraction is going to equal the number of tagged rabbits, number of tagged rabbits out of the total number of rabbits in the population. Population means how many rabbits there are in the whole forest. How many rabbits there are in the whole forest. And this fraction, the percentage of tag rabbits is going to equal. Okay, the population is going to equal the sample. Okay, that is a very big assumption that they're making. So they're basically saying that the rabbits that you're catching, the 40 rabbits, they can represent um, the population because you caught them at random places. So if 5 out of 40 of your rabbits have tags, then we know that because initially we tagged 30 animals. So now we can use this equation to help us figure out what the total number of rabbits are in the whole population. So then we put them inside a fraction. So number of tagged rabbits is 5. Total rabbits is 40 in the sample. So this is for the sample. And then number of tagged rabbits in total in the forest is 30 because we tagged 30 rabbits. But we don't know the total rabbits of the whole population. We don't know how many rabbits there are in the forest. So then we use this equation and we try to solve that. So how do we solve that equation? 5 out of 40 equals 30 out of x. Okay, so the way we would do that is we would somehow shift things around a bit. So let's multiply both sides by x. So if we do that, then x will go to the top on the other side. And 40 will go to the top on the other side. So 30 times 40. 5x equals 30 times 40. So now 5x is equal to 1200. So x will equal 1200 divided by 5, which is... Um, which is two, uh, 240 rabbits. So what you can say now is we estimate that there are 240 rabbits estimated to exist in the bush. Okay, there are 240 rabbits. Okay, so let's do another example. Instead of writing it all out, I'll type it out. So let's look at this question together. 50 fish were caught in a lake, tagged and released back into the lake. A few days later, 60 were caught and 10 of them were tagged. Estimate the total number of fish in the lake. Okay, so let's just write two fractions. We got the sample fraction and then we have the population fraction. In the sample, we took from the lake, okay, we caught 60 fish and out of that, 10 were tagged. Now, in the population, so in the whole lake, we have no idea how many there are but we know that 50 of them were tagged. So now let's just solve this equation. So now we got 10 times x equals 50 times 60, right? Because you would multiply both sides by x to move the x to the top. What's on the bottom goes to the top on the other side. So now 60 goes to the top. So now we have 10x equals 3,000 x equals 
3,000 divided by 10, which is 300. So that is the answer. The total number of fish in the lake is 300. Total number of fish in the lake. Okay, obviously to understand this video, I'm assuming that you guys have done my year 8 to 10 basic algebra lessons. If you haven't done that, please go and have a look. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.